Welcome back to another Modisoft back office video. My name is Jonathan, and today we're going to be going over on how to add a price group in Modisoft. Price groups are important because it allows you as the owner to set up these groups for your specific items that have a particular price range. So for example, whenever you want to create these groups for like your Coke 20 ounces, then you know all your coke 20 ounces that you have in the store whether it's coke diet coke etc they have a specific price point so this allows you to change those prices in one go so that you don't have to change each individual coke 20 ounce price you're able to add them to that group and then when the price changes for these items you can update the price collectively now in order to create these groups you're going to want to go to your main menu under products, and then you'll go to your price book. So in the price book, you're gonna see that there is a tab for your price group. Click on that, and then any groups that you have already created will show here. If you're a new customer, this page would be blank. So you would have to start first by adding your group, and then you would assign your items to that group. So I am going to create an example price group here and then show you how to add items and then update pricing from this page. So first you're going to click on add new price group and then you're going to see this slider pop up and you just got to give it a name. So I will give it, let's say, Nature Valley Bars 99 cents. So you create the group name. Once it has been created, you're able to click on that group that you just created. It's going to open up this section here where you're going to want to add all the items that are going to be a part of that group. So you're going to want to go through your price book, add all your 99 cent Nature Valley bars through here. So you just click on add item. Then you're going to be greeted with this page where you're able to either manually search for items via description, categories, departments, etc. Or if you have the items in front of you, and let's say you connected a scanner to this computer, you're able to click here. And if you have that scanner, you can scan all the barcodes. So for example, here, I'm gonna scan a couple items that I have here that are Nature Valley bars. And then this will be added to your group. Now let's say maybe you don't have a scanner or you want to search by description. You can come in here, search by description, and based on what you've, those Nature Valley items that you have, you'll see here that it populates the list of all your Nature Valley items in your price book. So if you were trying to make this group for the 99 cent items, you'll notice that you have different price ranges for a couple items here that are in the price book. You can further filter, and you can make that filter 99 cents. So whenever you do filter it out, this will have all your 99 cent items that you are currently selling at your location. So you can click all those items and add them to the price group. Once you do that, just hit close, and now you'll see that your Nature Valley Bars list has populated with the 99 cent items that you have, minus the two scanned items that I actually scanned earlier. So let's say that you made a mistake and you accidentally scanned the wrong items because you notice these items are not too, not, you know, they're not 99 cents. So you can come in here and you can actually remove those items from the group so that they're not in the wrong group. And just like that, you have added a price group and you've assigned items to it. So now that you have done that, let's say you need to change prices. So let's say a couple months goes by, the prices go up on these Nature Valley bars. So now they're no longer 99 cents. Let's say now they're going to be a dollar 19. So you are able to go into this middle list here where it shows all your price groups. If you want to filter and you want to filter by your specific group that you're going to change prices to, you can click on that list, search for it, and then you will be able to 
you know, filter by that group. And now you are able to update the pricing for the items that are going to be inside. So let's say it went from 99 cents to $1.19. You would enter that value here, and then you can update that price. Now, Modisoft also offers a bulk price update. So instead of having to go one at a time and having to update each group one by one, you have the ability to bulk update groups as well. Because sometimes you might have groups that have different names, such as like a Coke 20 ounce group, Dr. Pepper 20 ounce group, a Pepsi 20 ounce group, Sprite 20 ounce group. So they're different groups, but they all have the same price. So you might have, for example, down here, we have this Stride gum and Trident gum piece that are $1.59. But if you wanted to upgrade them, update them both at the same time, you don't want to have to go one at a time and click the update price individually. So in this situation, if the price changed for these specific items, let's say your gums went down in price from $159 to $1.49, then you can just check mark the groups that you're going to update the prices for, enter them here, and then hit bulk update price, and then it will actually update those groups to $1.49. So every item that is in that group all your stride gums, $1.49. And then all your trident gums, same price, $1.49. We hope that you found this guide useful in better understanding your Modisoft back office. Please like, subscribe, and click on the notification bell so that you will always be up to date on your Modisoft back office. Thank you and have a wonderful day.